How's it going guys? I'm May, the Phenom of Phenom Studios, here to do another Schoolism vlog for you guys. Alright, last week was a, a, a rush, uh, didn't, I, I, I did two days of Schoolism, because uh, I had a lot going on. Um, this week I got a little more, bit more done. Uh, I've been trying to be very strict and watch video lessons every day. Yesterday I did not watch a video lesson because I was working on an assignment for schoolism. I te technically still could have squeezed in a video assignment, I could have watched one, but I, I was working on other videos and content, I was, I was working on the uh, UltraCon vlog that I posted up yesterday. So last week I, I was two assignments in, this week I did another two assignments. Uh, the assignments were more challenging, so it took more time. So I wasn't able to watch the videos every day as I wanted to. But this is the first assignment I did. This was about values. So I did a speed drawing of the values I, I was doing. We had, we had to do five different landscape pieces. Uh, just little tiny ones, that, thumbnails. They're called thumbnails. So just get, not, not de they don't have to be really detailed. Just get the shapes in there and um, try to get the values right. Don't know if I did it completely right. But, um, I did the assignment, so that, that's important. I'm, I'm working out that muscle of sitting down and doing the assignment. As an artist, everything's, everything's gonna look good, everything's gonna be perfect. I may have done it wrong, but at least I practiced the, the discipline of sitting down and focusing and trying to work out problems in this piece. And, and, John Burton is an awesome instructor. He's killing it right now with these video courses. Um, four videos in, four assignments in. There's five more to go. And he, I, I'm tagging him on Instagram on these photos and videos, and he replies, and it's really awesome. He's very encouraging, and uh, he's really, I think he, he's really happy to see, it. he's really appreciative of people taking the courses and then. Just the fact that I'm recording it and posting it online, I think that's really cool for him to see as well. Uh, just seeing something that he made, his assignments, his videos that he made, that he spent, that he worked very hard on. Like I can tell the editing and just going out there and shooting the landscape paintings and just, he did a lot of, he put a lot of work into the course so just to see it pay off like this, I think it's really cool for him to see and, and he replies to the stuff I post up, which is, which is awesome. Now this next assignment, I had to battle some demons with this one because I was reluctant to start it. I mean, I spent the whole day just waiting the whole day, knowing that I was, I was that was my objective for the day was to do this assignment. But I waited the whole day and procrastinating, uh, working on other things because I did not want to do this. I was, I was scared of it. I was scared of this because this was a painting. He wanted to for us to do an actual painting on canvas, and I had to go back, go, go into my old school supplies, stuff from four years ago, and dust off the paint. Most of it was dried out, but I found a couple ones that I could use, so I had a very limited um, palette, palette of color. He wanted us to do eight small paintings, uh, and I had this. I had yellow, I had brilliant yellow, I had light blue, raw umber, I had white, which is very important and handy big time, and then I had magenta. Now, <laughs> what I did—I live in Florida, so what I did was pulled up. I typed in a bunch of um, South Florida landscapes and just tried to do a bunch of stuff that people down here can recognize. Because maybe I could sell the piece later on. But even just for Instagram, uh, tagging Florida, like using relevant Florida hashtags, I think it—I it, felt like it would, it would get some good recognition from the people that live down here. So I did a speed speed drawing of video, speed video. Let me draw of me painting each piece, piece, so that's eight pieces. I posted three of them so far, so we'll just um, we'll see how the rest goes. See if I can get the right eyes on it. But to do eight different paintings in different lights and settings, like to do it with five different colors, was was challenging. But it was, it was fun though. Uh, I did a lot with just these colors. You'd be surprised. Look at all the different colors I was able to make. Yeah, so you can do a lot with, with a limited, limited amount of colors. But yeah, this, this one took me 
a day and a half to do. It shouldn't have. I was just reluctant, but I pushed through. I pushed through it and started it, and I haven't paid it in a long time, but uh, I was actually learning some cool things as I was doing it. I was learning as I, as I go. The last time I painted was for school a couple years ago. So this is the, the mini landscapes. Um, got the beach here, got like swamps, swamp over here, got the water tower over here, and more, more beaches, um, some lakes. So it's pretty cool. I'm actually really proud of it. I feel like someone who lives in Florida, who's lived in Florida for a long time, might buy this. I'm selling it. How much am I selling it for? $250, $300? Which may be a lot of money, but it's not like I want to get rid of my art anyway, so. If you don't buy it, then I'll keep it. That's fine. But I worked hard on that. I spent a lot of time on that, a lot of effort. Alright, a lot of skill was involved in that. So some pieces came out better than than others. Um, like this looks like a like a field, like a grassy field, and it's supposed to be water. This is all supposed to be water, so didn't do that right. This part came out pretty good. Uh, yeah, I have trouble with water, so let me figure that out. So those are the two assignments I did this week. I uh, wish I could have done more. I mean, I could have. I just have to push harder and be more focused, I, I suppose. But this weekend's gonna be busy. Today's Friday, so I, I'm going to the Wayward Marketplace. I'm setting up, and I'm a vendor there today and Saturday. I have work, and then Sunday, um, I'm vending again at this flea market. So, busy, busy. It's possible to squeeze in the video courses in that, so I'm gonna do it. And hopefully I'll have a good amount of stuff to show you next week's vlog. Little by little I feel my skills growing. I'm definitely learning a lot from John Burton and watching him do his masterpieces. There's so, so much skill involved in what he does and then when I try to do it it's like eh. there's balancing. There's a lot of balancing that is involved. You need to rem remember tone and value and color and I just don't have a grasp on all that right now uh, but I'll learn hopefully. I'm learning right now so we'll see where it goes if I, if I keep sticking at with it and and growing so thanks guys for checking this vlog out please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're not subbed yet I have a lot of different videos coming out a lot of stuff planned it's gonna be coming quickly uh, more creative stuff more st stuff that's gonna help add value to other people's lives uh, people who want to be vendors people who want to be artists I have ideas and uh, I think I think they're gonna help people so um, stay tuned for that and if you haven't yet like like the video subscribe to the channel and please leave a comment, let me know what you think of these videos. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And what else, what other kind of content you want to see. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, get on that.